Hi, welcome. I watched this movie last night called Jiu Jitsu. This will be my uh, review of it. Where where do I where do I start? First of all, first off, right? It's got Nicolas Cage in it. Now I thought his time in um, I thought I thought he was on the up. You know, it was in Color Out of Space. I was like, yeah, good. It was in Mandy. I was like, yeah, good. He's, he's on the up. And then this comes out. Now, I got sent this as a screener. And I always say full transparency. This is not a good film. So FYI, you know that I'm not obliged to review things positively. Here's the synopsis I got sent with this. And I've got images and stuff. To, I, I have no idea what happened in this film, by the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna muddle my way through this. It is it is weird. It is weird. So the synopsis. Oh dear. Get ready for a fresh sci-fi action adventure with Nicolas Cage. Yeah, that's right, Nicolas Cage. Lighting no fighting aliens alongside a host of fight stars. The future hangs in the balance as a being, I'm not making this up, as a being from another world returns to Earth to face off against the best warriors the human race has to offer. From special ops soldiers to the best martial arts experts, an epic battle for survival will place humanity on the brink of extinction. The fantastic cast leading the fight, uh, the fight back includes Frank Grillo, I mean he's He's scraping the barrel. Uh, Elaine Moosey. Tony Jaa. Nicolas Cage. Um, it's written and directed... <laughs> FYI, they call this a new franchise opener. There's going to be more. Re <laughs> oh, they're planning more. They're planning more. It's a franchise opener, ladies and gents. Written and directed by... Uh, Dimitri Logothetis, who did Kickboxer Retaliation. Um, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. But it's also, it's also such a spectacle. Like that synopsis doesn't doesn't go away of explaining it. I'm, I kid you not. It's <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Full spoilers. I don't care. We're going to spoil this movie. It is a cross between... It's as if Mortal Kombat... Uh, it's as if Mortal Kombat... Had a baby with the Predator. And... Sharknado? I guess? I have no idea what to make of this movie. Now... Let's basic. So, oh my god, we open with uh, the dude right next to my head here, right, running through a forest with the worst shuriken stars I have ever seen CGI'd over him. Some of them even hit him, but they don't hit him. They don't make contact. Now, I think to myself. Surely you would write to the budget you know you can get. That's real bad. Don't just... Just don't do it. Don't even try. So anyway, this guy's like, run, 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 yeah! And he, and he goes, and he falls off a cliff. But it, of course, just as he turns to jump off the cliff, he gets hit by some shuriken stars. This time he actually gets hit. FYI, this is probably a Mr. Hate review. Uh, people keep asking when they're coming back. This is one of them, isn't it? It's just a movie I don't like. Um, he lands in the water smashes his skull. So all this blood comes out and you think, oh, he's dead. He's definitely dead. No, he's not, ladies and gents. Why? Why is he not dead? Well, because some uh, fisher people come and pick him up. I'm not talking about the deep ones from Lovecraft. No! Uh, I'm referencing some stupid woke-ass prat in the UK that won't say fisherman anymore because apparently that's uh, sexist. Anyway, so some fishermen come and pick him up. They stitch him up and then they take him to a... Uh, a, a an army base? Randomly? There's an army base. Yes, ladies and gents, there's an army base. It doesn't actually serve any purpose, right? We see then one of the most stereotype, and I'm, I'm fairly certain it's probably a racist trope as well. 
The black guy is called Tex. He's got a big old afro. He's all, hop oh, out, I made it like this, son. And he comes out, he's the interpreter, and he's trying to liaise with these uh, fishermen. Anyway, this guy then gets interrogated for no reason by this woman who's like, I'm going to find out who you are. And if you're working on what I'm working on, ooh, it means business. It's like, what? It doesn't go anywhere. Ladies and it doesn't go anywhere. And she disappears halfway through the movie. Pointless. Anyway, he then escapes, right? He doesn't have his... He's got memory loss. This guy, he, he's got amnesia. Again, doesn't really serve a purpose. Serves maybe a mild purpose later on in the movie. Um, and then this whole gang of people... There's more, because Frank Grillo's among them. Find him. Whilst that happens, they all get attacked by the alien... Wait for it. I'm going to explain this alien in a minute. I'm going to try. And I'm going to show you his face as well. Because I think there's some mild racism there as well. I'm not I'm not joking. I am not joking. Uh, so anyway. That happens. He's lost his memory. He gets kidnapped again. He then explains to the woman. Who is interrogating him for no good reason. Who he thinks he is. He thinks he's part of this group. They seem to know him. He seems to know martial arts. The martial arts in this is actually very good. But that's the focus of the whole movie. I know it's called jujitsu, But goddamn, lay off the jujitsu. Um, there's also the implication that apparently aliens gave him jujitsu, Gave us jujitsu. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Anyway. They then go to some mountain top forest jungle park. All of them. The army and this dude, they then get um, jumped by the alien. A lot of them die. The woman disappears. I, ca I can't remember if she died or not. The movie doesn't make an a awful lot of sense. So there's certain things that happen that just get washed away. Anyway, he stumbles into a pit. And who's there? Oh, it's Nicolas Cage. He's like, I'm you from the future. It's not explained. It is kind of explained. Uh, and then he's reunited with his uh, gaggle of mates. From there, we learn... You're going to love this. We learn, ladies and gents, that this alien... This is an alien. Comes by every six years, I think. Comes by every six years. To fight against the champion. And he, he's been doing it for 2,000 years. He he cloaks himself like Predator. He sees through heat vision like Predator. In fact, the lead beats him in a similar way to how uh, the Predator gets beaten. I.e. like he uses heat to disguise himself and then gets the upper hand, basically. Um, ridiculous. And basically it's implied that this alien gave us jujitsu. I don't... No, I don't, I don't get it either. Um, they then learn that actually, guys, Nicolas Cage here, you can see him, Nicolas Cage, that's actually his father. He gets killed. They, a whole bunch of them get killed in spectacular fashion. So when all of that's going on, we do actually see the alien's face. I'm going to chuck it on the screen now. Uh, you can make from it what you will. I said at the start, I said, look, I think this is some mild racism. Uh, I have, uh, I've, I've actually sent this picture around to quite a few people now and just said, like, what, what does that look like? Does it look like a human or does it look like an alien? Um, and they've all pretty much agreed with me. Uh, so, you know, take from that what you will, uh, I guess. But there you go. I'm not going to say much more on it. I just, I think it's the worst alien design in history. I mean, that's supposed to be an alien. Y you can barely see that it's got like a two eye thing. Yes, there's like double eyes there, apparently. Um, it's basically just a singular eye, uh, a broad nose, broad brow, and uh, large lips. So again, take from that what you will. I think that uh, is really unimaginative and a little bit of mild racism. It's bloody ridiculous. It's crap. Rubbish. Look at it. Just a dude in a suit. <sighs> Spectacular. It is spectacularly bad. 
I have no idea what goes on half the time. Tex. I, I just... I literally have no idea. So anyway, a bunch of them die. Um, a whole bunch of them die. Even Jasper's bored during this uh, movie as well. They all die but the dude and his missus. And then they're like, see you in six years? I guess. Apparently it's a franchise opener, so we're going to get more. I have no idea what happened half the time in this. I, I, for, for one second, I thought Nicolas Cage wasn't even there. I thought he was just being imagined by the lead. I genuinely thought he was, he was something that the, the lead was imagining. But it wasn't. No, he was actually there. It was his father. And no one bothered to tell him until he was already dead. They're like... You don't know, do you? You really don't remember. It's like, mate, he's not remembered anything. He's been pretty pretty steady on that point. He's got amnesia. Because <laughs> of the blood dripping from his skull. That massive wound that he had. Um, that he survived from miraculously. <laughs> and he's like, that was your father. And it's like, surely you would have told him that. What? Why are you telling him that after the fact he's dead? What's wrong with you? Bloody ridiculous. It's a terrible film. It's so bad. Look at this. I, I, I've got to hand it to it. The, the fight scenes are good. But it is literally Mortal Kombat Tekken levels of bad. Like, it's just terrible. It's not even the fact that the suit's bad or anything like that. You get dodgy ass crap CGI like this. Right? I mean, that's that's terrible. It really is. Apparently that's an alien. What? It just looks like a man. That's just... It's garbage. Nick. What are you doing, mate? You're a Mandy. You're in the colour out of space. What's going on, bruh? Get some better films, bruh. Don't make don't make this a franchise opener. This is terrible. Where'd you go with this? You've already grenaded the alien to death. Maybe that maybe the interrogator is going to come back. Maybe maybe she's going to come back. Well, what I was working on was this. It's a brand new thing. And uh, anyway, aliens gave us jujitsu. There's hieroglyphs of them giving jujitsu like Jesus Christ from the jujitsu era. It's it's so bizarre. It is 102 minutes. I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, to the people, to the to the PR company that sent me this, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Is it worth a watch? Just for the spectacle. It is one of those movies, bear in mind, I don't think this is good, but it's one of those movies that is so bad, it I, I can genuinely see it becoming like a weird cult icon just because it's so bad. So bad. So, so bad. Anyway, um, there you go. Uh, I'm going to bring you some other movie reviews uh, in the coming weeks. But let me know your thoughts on this if you have seen it. And if you're going to see it. I, can I recommend it? No. It's not good. Don't make this a franchise. Good God. Don't make this a franchise. Thanks so much. Take care.